Today's video is all about sharing with you my top colours for a beginner's kit with regards to coloured pencils. I go through the brands, the types of colours that I use and you'll see some samples of all the drawings I have done that have contained these pencils, these pencil colours. They're so versatile, they move from one type of portrait to another. We go from wildlife, we then can move on to still life. We can then move on to things like portraits, shiny objects. We can even use them on different coloured paper. They are truly, truly versatile and I'm going to let you in on my favourite and most used colours that come on every portrait with me. Down in the description below is a link to a downloadable PDF with the colours that I use available to you. Not only that, I tell you the brands, the Polychromos, the Luminance and the Pablos and the specific colours that I use from the two other brands as well. Polychromos are my main brand that I go for but I do tend to bring in a couple of the Pablo colours depending on the subject I am doing and I also pretty much 100% use one or two of the luminance colours that I have in my stash on every single portrait that I do. The colours that I will be showing you will allow you to come up with the most realistic portraits that you have. It helps colour picking much much less of a headache because you don't have to choose from so many options available to you. Limiting your palette in this way means that you tend to grow as an artist a little bit quicker because you're not spending hours trying to choose which pencils to go for. So the specific list that I have made, as I said at the beginning, are the pencils that I use the most. These are the pencils that I stock the most and they are the ones that get sharpened and worked through the most. And to be able to share this information with you means that you'll be able to grow as an artist too. If you would like a video specifically about the differences between the pencils that I use with regards to the wax and the oil makeup, please comment below that you would like to see a video done and I will get one of those done in the future for you. But right now, this is the first and ultimate set of colours that you need. Your white, your entire cold grey set and your entire warm grey set. Payne's grey and dark indigo. You will use these everywhere. Ivory and cream, beige red, which was light flesh, cinnamon, salmon, which was dark flesh, coral, which was medium flesh, magenta, light red violet, violet, blue violet, sky blue, light yellow ochre, burnt ochre, brown ochre, raw umber, caput mortem, caput mortem violet. Caput mortems are used again everywhere. <laughs> It's amazing how often you use these colours over and over again. The last few polychromos are Nougat, Walnut Brown, Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Umber and Burnt Sienna. My two favourite Pablos because they generally cannot be matched to any polychromos is the Beige and the Brownish Beige. The Luminance, my most used and is used in every single portrait, is White or Titanium Buff. Brown Ochre 10% brown ochre 50%, burnt ochre 10%, burnt ochre 50%, raw umber 10% and luminance violet grey. These pencils work not only well on white paper but as you can see here using a collection of the warm greys and the cold greys, the whites and the titanium buff that actually it can be used exceptionally well on black paper too. The colours I gave you in the list are here as a sort of a base format for you to work any other new colours around that you wish. Depending on the subject that you do, like for example if I do a, a parrot I'm then going to be bringing yellows and reds and more blues in. But as a beginner's kit, a basic kit, these are the pencils that you are going to want to go to time after time after time. For my UK followers, I have put a link in the description below to the company that I regularly get my pencils from. Their customer service is exceptional 
and they do not overprice their open stock which means that you know you're getting value for money and you're getting the real thing don't be fooled into thinking there aren't fake ones out there because there are and there have been plenty that have been fooled make sure you that you if you get these pencils that you get them from a reputable seller and that you are getting the real deal as i mentioned earlier if you would like a separate video with regards to the differences between the types of pencils that i use because they are made up differently let me know in the comment section below and i shall see if i can get one in the next few weeks done and uploaded for you hopefully you have found this helpful and if you have any questions again use the comment section don't hesitate to ask me i'm happy to answer all the questions that i can I do hope that you found this video helpful and if you did I would love that tap of the old thumbs up and of course if you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button come along with the journey with me I have plenty of tutorials and advice and information throughout my channel and if you know anybody that is starting their artistic journey please don't hesitate to share this video with them have a good morning afternoon evening whichever it may be and I shall see you in the next video bye